Welcome back to Good Day. It's just about 8.25. I'm here with Casey Perkins. He's a board member for the Flint River Habitat for Humanity. And this is Daphne Ewings, and she is staff for Family Services. And we're talking all about a workshop that's going on right now for the Flint River Habitat for Humanity. We appreciate you guys coming on this morning. Thanks for having us. Well, now let's talk about this. This is a workshop, and what's going to be going on? Pretty much we're going to be talking about our homeowner program and distributing applications to those who come to the, the orientation. Okay. And um, so who should come to this? Anyone who is interested in owning their own home. Um, we are really doing a big push for veterans right now because we have a veterans bill that's going on currently. We have college students coming over from all over the country to build on veterans' homes, but we need veterans in those homes. So if you're a veteran, don't even wait to come to the orientation. Call us at the office. The number is 229-446-8199. Okay. So um, people have to put in applications to mm -hmm. obtain one of these homes. How? What's the process like in choosing? Because not everyone's going to get one that applies for one. What's that like? That's true. We have three criteria. There are one, the person or the applicant has to have a need for housing. Two, the ability to make a monthly mortgage payment. And three, they have to be willing to partner with us doing volunteer hours during the construction of their home. All right. That's really neat. I didn't know that at all. Okay. We call that sweat equity. So they're go. going to put in time and be really invested sure. in the home by the time that they get to move into it. All right. Well, now, um, where, where do you guys get the funds? Because I've always wondered, you're building these houses. It's got to come from somewhere. Habitat is all about donations and volunteering. So the community really does support us. Of course, we go out and solicit donations from organiz other organizations and from people. But anytime we can have uh, individuals come and donate their time, that's really the, uh, the best way that we can get our work done and give back to the community. So it's all about whatever you can give. You know, if your church wants to get involved or just an individual, we love that. So now, if someone's watching and they think, I've always wanted to do this, how do I get involved? Now's my chance. If someone wants to do that, who should they contact? What do they do? Um, they can contact David Wilson. He is our volunteer services coordinator, and uh, he does a great job of sort of putting everyone together. And as Daphne was saying, right now our collegiate challenge, we call it six weeks during uh, spring break kind of time every year, is going to be focused on the veterans' homes. And we've got uh, students coming down from Harvard, from Ohio State, big colleges all over the country, and down to smaller colleges as well. And they'll be coming and spending a week at the time and focusing on that building and so people can get involved and sort of join up with that initiative. That's wonderful. Now and this guy's number it is 344-1207. Correct. And um, that's if, if you'd like to volunteer to build or um, donations or anything like that you can call that number 344-1207. And uh, so this workshop what's going to be going on when people come? Um, where is it located and when is it? Okay the workshop is going to be March the 10th at 10 a.m. at Porterfield Memorial Baptist Church. Um, we're going to be pretty much talking about our homeowner program, kind of dispelling any myths that are out there about how Habitat works. For example, a lot of people think Habitat Homes is just giving away. Mm -hmm. But as he said, it's not. The homeowners have an investment into the project. Uh, and we'll just be giving our applications and going over kind of do's and don'ts of the applications. Okay, very interesting. If you guys like more information on that, you can go to flintriverhabitat.org or you could call 229-446. 8199 or again for volunteer um, information 344-1207. How do you guys feel being involved in this project and uh, it's a wonderful organization. Um, why are you involved with it? Because of the mission is to eliminate poverty here in Albany and, and Doherty and Lee counties and it's it's a powerful mission and I love seeing the homeowners getting to the home taken from the process of selection so seeing the person at the orientation to the closing is an amazing thing because you see the transformation of the person I bet so. and it's something that's a great thing to be a part of. Yeah. What about you Casey? Absolutely it's a, it's a great organization I think the fact that every aspect of the community is able to get involved you know community members help build these houses so they see the benefit of it as well as the people who are receiving the homes so there's the the constant give and take on you know everyone gets to benefit from it and at the same time Time, you know it's it's the positivity that flows into it and everyone that's involved you know from the national level the international level I mean we're a worldwide organization all the way down to the individuals living in homes here in Darty and Lee County it's just a fantastic way to see how that how that positivity flows all right, guys. Well, thank you so much again. Um, this uh, homeowner workshop for the Flint River Habitat for Humanity is March 10th. It's at 10 a.m. That's easy to remember. It's at the Porterfield Memorial United Methodist Church. If you'd like more information, you can call 229-446-8199 or 344-1207. And again, this is Casey Perkins. He's a board member for the Flint River Habitat for Humanity and Daphne Ewings. And we appreciate you guys. And I hope everything goes very well on March 10th. We'll be thank back with so more good day after this.